Hello and welcome to this video. Thank you for joining me for part three of this Sporin build. I hope you've enjoyed so far. If you haven't seen part one and two, please go check that out. Part of the design that I haven't done yet is this star. It's supposed to look kind of like a sheriff's badge. Um, so I got out this drafting tool that has a bunch of circles of different sizes on it. And I'll just compare to see which one I like. I think I'll um, trace it with my marker on paper, then cut it out, then trace that on here. I'm not sure. That way I don't get marker on this, on the, on the inside that I'm going to keep, but the marker will just be on the outside. Here I marked out a uh, rough points for the star. My plan seemed to work out pretty well. Um, I traced around this. I switched to a red marker because that shows up a little less boldly on the brown leather.
Okay, I like the way I ended up making this tassel, so I'm going to show you how I did it. I started here with a um, needle and black thread and two strips of this leather cord. Then I tie a little slip knot on the end. Hmm. And then I be sure I'm sure I make sure that my cords are um, lined up right. Then I wrap around a few times and I put a few half hitches. Let me wrap around a couple more times. Anytime I wrap around, I like to finish with a half hitch or two to kind of set that wrap. Okay, so then I grab the needle and I, let me see which way I wrapped it, okay. Then I um, set the cord into the fabric that's gonna be the tassel and then I sew through like this. Then I wrap the first bit of the tassel, then sew through, and then I keep it as tight as I can and I also try to keep the top even, like so. Okay, oops. Ah. Okay, so now I'm back to where the thread comes out. So I put the thread in just a little bit inward of where it would come out if the thread had just gone straight through. That way if I pull the thread like this, it pulls the wrap a little bit tighter. So I do that again. And then the thread is back there. So I sew back through. So as you see, if I put the needle in and lever it, it will pull the wrap tighter. So that's why I poke it in just a little bit in farther than what is just a straight line. And then it pulls it. I pull it that way. So I'll do this until I get the whole thing um, wrapped. So here I am at the end and for the last wrap I do kind of like to let it um, not be meet up perfectly at the top but make a little bit of a crown and it just so happened that my fabric was the right length that this lines up just about pretty much perfect with where I sew. So now I can wrap around and create a tight fit with a nice black line deline delineating the top. And uh, then at this point I begin to sew through the fabric being sure to have the needle come out along the black line and this always happens the thread gets knotted up okay so I unknotted it then try to get the black thread to stay as tightly together as possible then I can just, just keep sewing through all the way around after sewing through a few times I just snip off the thread and that hides the end. Well, I'm pretty excited that I got these tassels done. All I need to do now, I think, is sew the back on to the front. Well, here's the final sporin. Um, I guess I'm pretty happy with it. There's some details that aren't exactly the way I wish it, they would be, but
It's probably the best spawn I've made so far. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please consider checking out some of my other videos.